I remember I was four years old when she came, you know, and she was with us for eight years. And then Auntie Terry left when I was 12. It's very interesting because it was completely by chance and coincidence that she came and worked in our family. Basically, she came looking for us. She came knocking on our door. She used to work for another family who lived like a few floors up in the same block of flats. And they were going to uh, stop hiring a maid. And she wanted to continue working in Singapore. And she heard that at that point of time, my mom just had a baby, you know, which was my youngest brother. And she heard that we needed, you know, like a helper, we needed a maid. So she came and knocked on our door. There wasn't a conscious decision to to go and look for her, you know. In fact, you know, we were approached by, you know, some, you know, kind-hearted Filipinos when the film won this huge award in Cannes and, you know, the Filipino media were talking about this film and people heard that, you know, it was inspired by, you know, a Filipino woman and everyone was curious, like, who is this Auntie Terry? You know, I was asked to give them a few photographs from my childhood and I was thinking, oh yeah, you know, it's probably not going to happen because it's such a huge country of 90 million people, you know. You know, if ever, you know, it might take six months, a year or they might never find her. We couldn't remember her full name, so we only know that, you know, her name was Therese, Teresa or Teresita in Ilongo and, and all we knew was that she was from Ilo Ilo. That's all that we knew of her. But two weeks later, I got an email and they found her. And they were asking me, uh, okay, now we need to verify that's the right person. I was trying to ask my mom, like, oh, do you, do you know her address? Like, is there something that, something private that we know? It, I remember it was a very, it was a very weird day for the whole family. Everyone was quite emotional. And what was interesting is, when they found her, they sent us an email and in the email there were some attachments and in the attachment there were all these photographs and the photographs were photographs of us growing up, of us as children. So it had to be her, like who else would have all these photographs? You know, they wanted to make sure it's her and we verified her and, and I kept bugging my mom, do you know something? And she said, I remember her birthday and, and that was how we verified her and they opened her passport and it was the exact the exact month and day. It's really interesting that, you know, 24 years ago she came finding us and then 24 years later we went finding her.